buddy. Hi. We're back. Yeah, it's a Rosie and... Go ahead, Rosie and... Rosie and Buster will go that way tonight. Talk show. Talk show? What are we going to talk about? Well, old age. What? We're not old. Now, Glenn is. Hey, I heard that. You were talking about it the other day. Yep, you were. Yes, I was. Go ahead and tell us all about it. Well, how do you take care of yourself? Well, um, I need to do a better job. Well, what's important about old age? Take care of yourself. Okay, well, I've taken care of a lot of elderly people, and I'm getting up there. I'll be 65 this month. And something I've noticed over the past years. What? Well, take a breath and say it. Sorry, jeez. My skin is beginning to thin. Is that what they mean about thin skin? Actually, you, if you mean when people get insulted easily, yeah, they say thin skin. That's not the same thing. Okay. So what do you do? Well, I try to remember to lotion it a lot, which I'm not very good at. Oh, do you lotion it? I try to lotion at least once a day, but I should lotion it probably three or four. Uh-huh. What else? Well, feet. Don't have any. No. People need to take care of their feet. They need to take care of them from the time they're young. But, especially when you're getting older. Why? Well, because you put all your weight on them all the time, except when you're sitting on your tush. <laughs> I don't put weight on anything. No, just my arm. Ah! Uh, I don't weigh that much. And my head's on the pillow. That's true. That's true. Anyway, yes. We need to take care of our f feet. It helps to put lotion on them. I go barefoot too much. I should be wearing socks. And, but I especially need to be putting lotion on my feet because they get a little dried out and calloused and not only that, it helps the circulation when you rub them. Really? Is that why, is that why your toes are kind of icky? Or that one toe anyway? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I got one really icky toe. It had a fungus at one time, but I lost the nail and then it grew back and they say it grew back thick and dark, mostly because it was damaged. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't either. You're a nurse. I know I'm a nurse, or was. Somebody finally reminded me the other day. I haven't worked as a nurse for a long time. Pardon me, this is my glasses. Nope, I haven't. Not for a long time. But some of my kids still call me in. Mom, so-and-so did this or has that. It's like, what do I do? It's like you go to the doctor because I don't know. <laughs> and I'm a few miles away. That's cute. Oh, they still want their mommy's help. Yeah, it is cute, except when they're closing on. They're into their 40s. <laughs> I think, though, that it's always important to have a mom. And a dad. What about your mom and dad? You know what? They're still around. Mom's in the nursing home, and now the nurses take care of her. And I think they probably take very good care of her skin and feet, because skin tears at that age are very hard to deal with. It depends on just how uh, fragile the skin is. What do you mean? Well, I used to, when I was working as a nurse years ago, 
We used to use sterile steri strips, what they called steri strips. They're kind of a, a tape and they'd come sterile in a package and you would use them to close the wound. So, oh, what's wrong with that? Well, nothing's wrong with that. It was better than stitches most of the time. But I had this one that every time I'd touch her skin, it just ripped more. Oh no, what did you do? I called the doctor <laughs> and I let him come in and, and take care of her. What did he say? He said I did the right thing. <laughs> He said, and if I couldn't handle it, it was best to call him. And that's for sure, I couldn't. Back to, okay, we start. We were at the feet. Yeah, you were at the feet, what happened? Okay, at the feet. Well, then you work up the legs. You want to make sure to work your legs. Oh, well, you want to walk, which I don't do a lot of. I can't walk as far as I used to because of my lungs. But I try to get up and walk around the house a little bit every hour or so, more often if I can. You ever just stand and do stuff? Yeah, sometimes. I try to make the bed. I don't always do, but on good days I'll make the bed and I'll... Maybe, possibly once in a while, if I'm feeling good enough, I'll sweep a floor. Even if it takes me a few, few times to do it. Once in a while, I'll get a whole floor swept. Your lungs are that bad? Well, yeah. Yeah, legs could be... It helps to rub your legs once in a while and make sure you get up and walk around. And also put your legs up once in a while. We don't have legs. Keep talking about our legs. Well, I'm talking about in general. Okay, it helps for me to put my legs up once in a while also helps to walk and it also helps to rub them. What's with the rubbing? Well, it just helps the circulation. As you get older, your circulation and tends to, eh, blood tends to like to pool in your feet and legs. And it needs to go back to your heart to get more oxygen. You're really getting technical, sorry. Okay, I'll quit being so technical. What else can we talk about? Well, what do you do to keep your mind young? Well, for one thing, I work with you guys. Not for a while. No. I'm sorry about that. I've been doing other things. I've been making uh, making figures and stuff out of clay. And, and I did a little bit with plants. Sometimes I just chat. And I've gone to a few places and shown, shown them some things on my channel. What do you got? Well, down at the Welsh Center, Welsh Heritage Center, and just generally around town. Wow. You been to the park lately? Nope, haven't been to the park lately. I thought about it, but didn't get there. Well, that didn't do you any good, did it? Nope. <laughs> nope, that didn't do me any good. But, I'll tell you what, I've had a lot of fun doing what I do. That's good. We'd like to be more of that fun. I know, dear. We aren't too old, are we? No, you're not too old. I'm forgetful. I just, I need to make, I need to put you into my plans more. What's well, not being a nice mommy? Okay, I admit it. I've been very negligent in that. Ah, I used to put you guys in a lot more. Yeah, you did. You used to have us color and everything. I did do that once, didn't I? Yeah, when do we get to do that again? Well, why don't I get you some paper set up and some crayons and you can do it now. Okay. <laughs> Look at these markers. I see them. I see them. What color do you want? Um, I'm going to go for the blue. <laughs> okay, guys, make it easy here.
I should have set this up ahead of time. Okay, what color do you want? I'll go for the purple. You don't have any pink out here. No, I put that away. Why? Because I knew you'd want it. And you got enough pink. Hey, we're going to color. Okay, so... <laughs> Looks like you already did, Rosie. I can't get hold of it. I know it. You got that hard mouth. Uh, maybe we won't do this so well. Okay. Okay there, Buster. Yours is upside down. There. What are you going to do? Oh, that's a nice circle. What about you, Rosie? Oh. You did a polka dot. Yeah, she's... There, you did a circle. Buster. Yep, you did a square. Ah, you did a rectangle. That is where the battery went dead. <laughs> that I put that battery in right before we started and I took it right out of the charger, but it must be one of the older batteries. It doesn't hold the charge very well. So I hope you all enjoyed the puppets and I hope you got something out of what I was talking about with the skin care and all of that. I know that's something that I've been needing to do more as I get older and I'm not really doing as good as I should so maybe this was kind of a way to kind of remind myself <laughs> and that birthday that magic birthday coming up that you know anyway <laughs> we will see you tomorrow I hope you enjoyed our little chat and the puppets and I think I already said that a hundred times, or a couple anyway. Who knows? My brain's... <laughs> it's been gone since I was a kid, by the way. So, we'll... I love you all, and good night. <laughs>